It's got a line on it with a uh, 7 8 fitting on the end. So you can use two wrenches to crack that free and we'll drain the oil. What's with all seven yeah. hours ago? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on this Bobcat T630. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a 250 hour service. So Bobcat does uh, 250 hour service intervals, so on the 250 hour service, it's just gonna be mostly engine, but we're also gonna grease the machine and uh, check all the other levels. So first things first, we already got the machine warmed up because you don't wanna drain the oil when it's cold, it's not gonna flow very well. So on this machine, uh, the oil drain hose is right here and there's a hole here that goes out the mainframe of the machine so that it makes a lower point for the oil to drain. So. I'm gonna crack those free. It's got a line on it with a uh, 7 8 fitting on the end. So you can use two wrenches to crack that free and we'll drain the oil. What's with all that? Seven yeah. hours ago. Why did we go to So we got the oil draining here. And I just like to Pull the oil cap, that way the oil flows faster. And then uh, what we're gonna do next is remove the fuel filter. So we'll do that. Look at all the rust in that thing. Comment on that starting. Yeah. That'd be uh, a bit of an issue. So some guys like to fill the new fuel filters. I just take a little bit of the fuel and put it on the O-ring. So you don't want to install the O-ring dry. Um, you don't have to pre-fill these because these have a primer ball here and a bleeder screw on the filter housing. So I'll show you guys how to do that next. So to bleed the fuel system, it's got a primer bowl here that feeds the lift pump and then goes to the filter. So you just pump this till the primer ball starts to get hard. And then crack the bleeder screw. So you see fuel start coming out. There you go. Now that we got fuel coming out, you want to keep pumping a little bit to make sure all that air gets out of that filter. That should be good. Okay, next thing is the oil filter here. I just like to get a piece of cardboard and uh, kind of use it as a funnel into the drain pan. That way we don't make a mess in the customer's machine. It's like that. You always want to make sure that the O-ring comes off of the uh, filter because you don't want to double o-ring it and I just put a little oil in the uh, on the o-ring here
Okay, we got the new filters on, and I can always rate the the date and the machine hours on it, so you know for reference. Next thing I want to do is change the air filters here. Uh, you just got to undo these clips. I always change the inner and the outer. Okay, so you always want to make sure that the inside of these is uh, air filter housing is pretty clean. You don't really want any dirt going into the into the turbo, so it's good to just wipe it down. Just like that, pretty simple. Clean the cover and slap it back on. Done. Okay, while the uh, oil is still draining, it's a good thing to check the coolant. Now this machine has a coolant reservoir up here, and it has a full line, which sometimes they get pretty faded and you can't really tell the level, but you can take the lid off and just check inside. So that one's good. And the hydraulic level is over here. <laughs> Sight glass on the side. This one's down because uh, it had a leak that we fixed, so we got to top it up yet. So in order to do that, the fill is right there. And you just, with all the cylinders retracted, you want to check the level and just top it up until it's in the sight glass. So we'll do that yet. For those who don't know, uh, for grease on the machine, there's a diagram inside the back door that shows where the grease points are. So it's pretty simple. This is a radius lift machine, meaning when the arms go up, it uh, they go on a radius, as opposed to a vertical lift where it has these side links that force the back link forward and it lifts straight up. So on the radius lift, there's left less grease points. So it's all shown here. So I'm just gonna go around and grease this thing real quick and uh, that'll be it. All we gotta do is top up the oil, finish topping up the oil and uh, she'll be done. Alright guys, we got the cab back on the oil drain tube. We actually put a new oil drain tube on because this one was leaking. So now we're gonna fill this thing with, up with oil. These usually take 15, 40. You can run 10, 30 in as well. Uh, it's really up to you, but uh, we're gonna fill this thing up. And then what I like to do is just fire it up for about 10 to 15 seconds and then check the level again. These ones will usually take Anywhere from about 8 to 10 liters. This one will probably take more because we changed the drain tube. So uh, we're going to do that and then uh, we'll catch the next clip. <laughs> Alright guys, we fired this thing up. Check the oil level one more time. She's good to go right at the full mark. So that's going to be it for this video guys. Um, if you guys like this video or you want to see more videos like this, more equipment content, let us know. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.